Sometimes all you hear from a layout are train noises. Well, not here. This New Jersey attraction is different. This, all of this, and this, and this is Northlands. In, uh, in the heart of Northlands, and on the tour, people will pass through at four different times, uh, we have our theater pipe organ. It's a five manual, uh, partially Wurlitzer hybrid. These are organs that played in the 20s to support the silent films. Uh, it's more of an attraction than we thought it would be. And we have uh, different uh, professionals playing throughout the week. I'm also a, a, a professional musician. I play a couple days. And it's, uh, it's a pretty neat attraction. It's a pretty neat part of the place. People like it. A layout this huge doesn't just happen overnight. It's more like a kind of yeah, evolution. This, uh, the history behind Northlands, um, Uncoupled. my wife and I in 1972 bought a, a couple acres of land, a few acres of land nearby, built a house, and the basement was for the trains. And over the next 18 years, we um, um, added five basements onto the side of the basement all the way out. And it used to take 80 men to run the old railroad. We used to open it two weekends a year to the public. Proceeds went to local charities. And from all of that, we learned uh, how to, uh, to do Northlands from the experience from that. So in 1990, we decided to tear it down. And uh, we brought this land on Highway 202 here. Um, designed and built the building and started all over again. Before this new version was built, all the plans were drawn up. Bruce says the key was having a solid plan, which included some major league raw numbers. About 40,000 feet of track. Uh, there's a couple hundred thousand pounds of plaster to, um, to make all the mountains and rock work. There's enough lumber inside the building to support everything to build about 42 large houses. We run currently about 115 trains at one time. That'll eventually grow to about 130. We only run probably about 12, 1,300 cars. Uh, the amount of trees in Northlands is, a, is around a couple hundred thousand. They're not counted specifically. That's, that's a rough guess. It's the lichen representation in the mountains, and then other trees are scratch built. There's a few thousand that are scratch built, and a lot of them are woodland scenic trees. With all levels and so forth, the building is a 52,000 square foot building. The layout for Northlands was all, every square inch was uh, designed out completely uh, before we started and uh, had a stack of papers about four feet high with all the, the design plans. There's a lifetime of work, uh, even though it looks finished, and, and basically it is finished, but there's a lifetime of work on major projects to be done in here. And if the finances are there, we hope to um, triple the building the next year or two. And uh, then we'll have three different shows, and we'll go much higher so we can do the Swiss Alps and the Himalayas, things like that. The amount of people we get here in a given year uh, to Northlands is somewhere between 125, 150,000. Some years we've had more. Well, the control center uh, we, this is where we run the currently 115 trains from. And we have TV monitors on most of the system, plus all our meters and lights that tell us what's going on with the trains. Plus, we have spotters walking around all the time. Unlike a lot of layouts, the action here doesn't stop at the door. Outside, we have uh, a terrific. Uh, outdoor train ride with a three-quarter size train that's uh, for big people as well as little, a three-foot gauge. Uh, leaves our station, goes through our tunnel, out along the river, back through the woods, over the big bridge, back to the station. It's a pretty neat little ride. There are many reasons to come, and according to Bruce, many reasons to spend some time just soaking it all in. The breathtaking scenery is, is probably what catches most people. You know, the three-and-a-half story mountains, uh, the big canyons. Um, we have a lot of funny things that uh, some of the purists may not like, but we have a toothpick farm, the world's only toothpick farm. Uh, we have a, a mile high uh, miniature golf course. Um, we have Grandma's Pit where they had to dig around her house to make this quarry because she wouldn't sell. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of industrial buildings all scratch built. Uh, a lot of people are fascinated by the bridges. Uh, some are 30 and 40 feet long in HO scale. Uh, 